What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome back to my subscribers and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Scorps, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This free general collective reading for all signs. Tap to decide to everybody in between. <clears throat> Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading. Love you guys so much. I do, I do, I do, do. This is for Sign of Scorpio, free general collective reading. So, as always, only take the messages that resonate with the rest, okay? Uh, I oh, I was going to say something else and I had a brain fart. I don't know. If I remember it, I'll let you know. But um, it's a free general collective reading, okay? So, as always, please only take the message or messages that resonate with the rest. That's, it's very, very, very important, okay? Um, if you think anyone else will like my channel, um, I would appreciate all the shares on social media and word of mouth. I very much appreciate that, okay? Uh, okay, so I received some channeling, so several of them for the sign of Scorpio, so I'm going to offload them real quick, and then we'll get started. Okay, <clears throat> so the first one I heard was um, someone's about to apologize to you was the first one I heard, and then I heard you were about to apologize to someone else. <clears throat> of course, you only plug yourself into the situations how they resonate for you okay for one you are about to get apologized to so somebody is about to come and apologize to you scorpio for one you're about to apologize to somebody else that's the first one okay the second one i heard a very significant official report regarding a hidden camera that was placed in a family's home is about to become very significant in Scorpio's life, some in a positive way, some in a negative way. So, um, you plug it in. Official complaint and moving fast. Official complaint and moving fast. I just heard that name. So, official complaint and moving fast. An official report slash complaint of a hidden camera that was in a family's house in the past is about to become significant to at least two of you guys. Some in a positive ways seven in a negative way and i heard moving fast so you plug that in how it resonates now only you know if you're on the positive end of this or the negative end of this for some i feel you could have made the official report or complaint of the hidden camera that was in the family's house in the past if you're on the positive end or you could be investigating it or about to be investigating it how that resonates and applies for the positive side the negative side i feel you might have had something to do with it um, but only you know your situation and story, not anybody else. It's a hidden camera that was illegal for your camera that was basically placed in a family's house in the past. It's an official report or complaint. I feel for some you might be making the complaint if you're a high vibrational Scorpio here or has made the complaint. How that resonates and applies. But one, you're on the bad end of this. So only you know if you hid a hidden camera being in someone's house in the past. Okay. And there was another one. I'll have to um, remember it. Spirit messages you have reflected. I can't remember the other one, Scorpio. If I remember it, I'll let you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Lightning fast is what I heard. Lightning fast. That was the other one. Lightning fast. So that's quick movement, like movement card. Ooh, movement card. So lightning fast. I think something has happened lightning fast or it's about to happen lightning fast. Or maybe you are, have ninja skills with lightning fast or however that resonates. Some kind of lightning fast energy. Oh, there was another one too. There was another one and I forgot it. Yeah, I heard a Sagittarius feminine is very pissed at you. For one, you already know this. For one, you're about to find it out, but you're not going to care. That was the other one. Yeah. Sag fem energy. Um, there's at least two of you that resonates for. She's, it sounds like she's already pissed at you in the universal space. She's already pissed at you. She got Sag in her sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, Dome, and Hamid, Jupiter charts. Um, but I heard you don't care. Um, whoever, whoever this Sag is, you don't care. <laughs> One, you're about to find out she's pissed at you. One, you already know she's pissed at you. But either way, 
whether you already know or you're about to find out, you either already don't care or you're about not to. Whoever the Sag Femme is and how that resonates for you, Scorpio, okay? Spirit messages you have with uh, Sag Scorpio. A Pisces masculine lawyer is about to become very significant in a Scorpio's life soon. Some in a positive way, some in a negative way. This is too many. A Pisces masculine lawyer, Pisces masculine lawyer, he's about to become very significant in your life, either in a positive way or a negative way. For one, he's a coke addict. For one, he's not. For one, you deal to him. Oh, my God almighty. Whoa. Shit. One, you're a drug dealer. Okay, one, you're a drug dealer. And that's the damn truth. There's at least two about Pisces masculine lawyers in here. And that's just the damn truth. Um, one, they're, One's high vibrational. One's high vibrational. One is obviously low, low vibrational if they're addicted to coke. <laughs> just saying, just saying. One, you deal to the Pisces masculine coke head, basically. That's basically what he is. And I'm just, I mean, I don't know what else to call it. Call it how it's it. He's coke head. One, you deal cocaine to him. And that's about to backfire through many series of chain of events. You have been warned. And that's about to back, one, you're a drug dealer. You're a coke dealer. Um, I don't know if you're the head, drug lord, or one of the minions. Only you know your situation and story, not anybody else. Scorpio drug dealer, cocaine coke dealer. Whether you're the drug head drug lord person or one of them, or a minion that deals to this Pisces masculine lawyer. But I heard, however you plug in the drug dealing mix, it's about to backfire through many series of chain events. You've been warned. So you've been warned through the spiritual realm. It's about to backfire. You deal coke to this coke head lawyer masculine. But another one of you guys is about to deal with the high vibrational Pisces masculine lawyer. For some, it's going to be a positive way, some in a negative way. So you plug it in how it resonates. Damn. Broken wishbone, wish will not be granted. Hammock, taking a vacation physically or mentally. Dog, close up, pleasure with close friend. A significant meeting is about to become very significant in Scorpio's life. A significant meeting is about to become very significant in Scorpio's life. Some kind of meeting energy. I feel this could be business or it could be 3D workspace or both. Um, some kind of meeting. Family, number 51, could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 51, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number. Number 51, family. A Gemini in your family is about to come crying to you because of the past. She's about to have a mental breakdown, and you help cause the past. You need to be very sensitive to her. To Gemini Feminine. Whoa. Okay, um... I didn't hear if you're masculine or feminine, Scorpio. Uh, only you know your situation and story, not anybody else. But one of you guys, you have a Gemini Femme family member. Like, generational bloodline energy. Gemini Femme family member. Um, now, whoever she is in your family and how that resonates, but I heard she's going to come crying to you. So, like, tears. Tears. Like, emotional tears. Um, crying to you about the past. I think in a negative way, with the wish will not be granted, I don't think it's tears of joy. Um, it most certainly is not. It most certainly is not. I heard it most certainly is not. It's not tears of joy, Scorpio. But I heard you cause the past. You help cause the past. I'm sorry. You help cause the past. I heard it'd be very smart to be very gentle with her. Because you help cause whatever she's about to start come crying to you for with the past. And I think it's something to do with family matters or uh, maybe somebody else in your family or something of that nature. She is definitely a member of your family. She's a Gemini feminine. You could be a Scorpio, masculine, or fem. But she's a Gemini fem. She could have Gemini on her sun, moon, rising, Venus, north, moon, heaven, Jupiter charts. 
negative crying tears. You plug it in how it resonates. Wow. Vulture. For some, I feel you could be dealing with a fire sign or earth sign. If you are, they could have Aries, Leo, Sag, or Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, and they're sun, moon, rising, Venus, or so, been ahead with Jupiter charts. How that resonates, it applies. Um, fire sign, earth sign. An MI of an older Scorpio is about to become very significant. 65 and above. An MI, a, a myocardial infarction is about to become very significant to a Scorpio, uh, older Scorpio. Heard 65 and above or above. So, um, uh, some Scorpio out there, whether they're masculine or feminine Scorpio, they're about to experience a heart attack. MI is a myocardial infarction. Um, now, it could be a TIA or a Widowmaker or what have you, what have you, but um, they're about to have a heart attack soon. Um, older Scorpio. Um, like I said, I don't know if it's going to be a Widowmaker or, or not, but I think it's going to, this is my depression card in the animal spirit card. I think it's going to make them very depressed. If it's a very serious heart attack, I mean, it may take them out. It may not. But I think it's going to make them depressed because I think it's going to decline their health. If they make it, it is going to seriously decline their health. Negative karma for the past. Holy shit. If they make it, it's going to seriously decline their health, negative karma from the past. So this older Scorpio, I heard specifically 65 or above. So this Scorpio is either 65 years old or above. They could have Scorpio in any aspects of their charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Moon, Hammer, Jupiter charts. But whoever they are, I feel for some you might know this Scorpio, older Scorpio person, 65 or above. It's negative karma from the past. I heard if they make it, their health is about to decline in a huge way. I think it's going to make them very depressed because this is my depression card. Um, and it's basically their karma bank is filled up. So um, spiritual realm is about to take it in the form of heart attack, basically. Holy God. A very spoiled Pisces is about to come to you. Pisces Feminine. Wanting, 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 wanting. It's going to annoy the hell out of you because you know this person has so much. It'd be smart to set your boundaries for this person. She's a very, 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 very spoiled Pisces Feminine. Very spoiled. For some, I feel she could be a part of your family because we have the family card or not. You have to plug her in how she resonates. Um, she's very, I mean, that's very specific in here. She's very spoiled. I mean, it sounds like she has everything she wants plus some. Very, 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 very spoiled. She's about to come to you wanting, 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 wanting. So she wants more. She already has a shit ton. She could have worked for it her entire life, worked hard for it her entire life, or she could have... Maybe you gave it to her, Scorpio, or somebody else gave it to her. But somehow she has acquired, or she's a trust fund baby, or something like that. But somehow she has a, she has a lot. She has a lot. So she's not poor. She is not impoverished. And she has a bunch. It's Pisces feminine. But she's going to come to you wanting more. For some, I think it might be energy. Because this is energy. It could be depression. Like energy sucking card. For some, she might want your energy. Um, for some, it might be material that she's going to want more for, from. But however that resonates, I heard it'd be smart to tell her no and to protect your energy. So I feel for some, she might be an energy sucker with the vulture card. Um, when you get around her, you might feel depressed. You might feel down. You might feel like you're depleted energetically because it sounds, uh, if, she, if she is an energy sucker, she only wants to come around you to take, take, take energy. For some Pisces fans, her, she has a lot. So I think she has a lot of material. But 
if she's not an energy sucker, it might be material she's asking for. She already has a shit ton and she's going to ask you for material. But I heard be smart to set your boundaries and basically to say no. Of course, you can have free will to give her whatever the hell she wants, but it wouldn't be smart. So setting boundaries, wish will not be granted. Ba boundary setting. It's Pisces feminine. She can have Pisces in any aspects of her chart. She's very spoiled. And I feel for some, she's a member of your family, but you plug it in how it resonates. Fever. I know sign is about to achieve a huge achievement. For one, you are a grandparent of this earth sign. For one, you are dating this earth sign. An earth sign is about to gain a huge achievement. For one, you're dating this earth sign. For one, it, you are a grandparent of the earth sign. So this is your earth sign and the beaver energy. Um... For one, that is a member of your family, you are a grandparent, masculine or femme, grandparent of the earth sign, Scorpio. Um, they're about to um, obtain a huge achievement. So this is your earth sign, beaver energy. Whether you are dating them or they are a member of your actual family, bloodline, ancestral, okay? A Pisces fam is about to be exposed for fraud soon. Identity theft and fraud. And a Sagittarius feminine. For some, they are members of your family and it's going to shock the hell out of you. A Pisces fam and a Scorpio fam. And a Scorpio fam. Pisces fam, a Scorpio fam, and a Sagittarius fam are about to be exposed for identity theft and fraud. For some of you guys, they are members of your family. It's about to shock the hell out of you. So, another Scorpio fam, so Scorpionic, negative, low vibrational energy. Scorpio fam, Sag fam, or um, Pisces fam. Excuse me. For some, they could all be members of your family. For some, one or two, two plus could be members of your family, but... Um, they are definite family energy here, and um, they're about to be exposed for identity theft and fraud. So you plug it in how it resonates, Scorpio. Um, I think they're going to be depressed. Fever. An earth sign is about to pop positive on a drug screen in their workplace. It is about to shock the hell out of you. Random drug screen. For one, it's a workplace injury drug screen. An earth sign is about to pop positive on a drug screen, whether it's a random drug screening at work or an occupational health drug screening with a workplace injury. Um, I heard it's about to shock the hell out of you, earth sign. For some, I feel this earth sign could be a part of your family. For some, maybe not. But um, for some, you're dating earth signs. So for some, it could be the earth sign you're dating. For some, it could be a member of your family. For some, it could be a co-worker but, or anybody else. But they're about to pop positive for a drug screening, whether it's in a workplace injury, occupational health situation, or it's a random drug screening. I heard it's going to shock you. Broken wishbone, wish will not be granted. They got Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or them in Hammer, Jupiter charts. And a Water Sign Femme. And a Water Sign Femme. Uh, so an Earth Sign, Masculine Femme, Earth Sign, and a Water Sign Femme. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It's about to pop positive. Either workplace injury or random drug screen. Broken Wishbone, which will not be granted.
Say no is about to become your favorite word and a fire sign fan's favorite word. Leo Energy Strong. Saying no is about to become your favorite word, Scorpio, and a uh, fire sign fan with sounds like heavy Leo aspects, favorite word. So I, one of you guys is about to really set some boundaries, which will not be granted, boundary setting. One of you guys is about to really set some boundaries, or you already have, how that resonates applies. You and a fire sign fan with heavy Leo. So for some, I feel you know this fire sign fan with heavy Leo um, is what I'm feeling. Uh, for some, yeah, that's what I think. But either you're you are about to set heavy boundaries, or you already have. Which would I be granted is uh, granted is the boundary setting here. Whether you've already set boundary no uh, setting or you're about to. Heard no is about to become your favorite word, so I think for a lot you're about to set the boundaries. Um, and a Leo fam, I heard that's about to become her favorite word too. No, so she's about to set some huge boundaries with people too. For some, I think the Leo fam could be a member of your family possibly, or a member of your work family, or a member of a social societal function where you feel she is a part of your family, possibly, I didn't hear that, but, or a community setting, but we have the family card, but you're pulling her in strong, so, how that resonates and applies, you're about to set some huge boundaries, she's about to set some huge boundaries, you're pulling her in, you're ready, boundary setting, so I don't think you're going to overextend yourself to people, um, and that's never good to overextend. It's always good to help. It's always good to help if you can be of service and help. Absolutely. But overextending yourself, giving too much is never good. And that's just the truth. An annulment of a marriage is about to occur soon through many shocking series of chain of events. For one, you are married to a child and it embarrasses the hell out of you. Oh, my God. Whoa. It is so embarrassing. It is so embarrassing. Oh, my God. One, I heard you're married to a child. Okay, you're married to a child. So, the parent or parents had to, well, both parents, if there's joint legal custody, custodial rights to the child. Child, I'm thinking it's a minor. It's a minor. It's a minor. It's confirmation. It's a minor. You're legally married to a minor, but I think you're within the window of an annulment because I heard an annulment. So I think you're within the window of an annulment. And thank God. Um, I heard it's a minor, but I heard it embarrasses the hell out of you. Through many series of chain events, um, I think you're about to create series of chain events for an annulment. And whoever you are, you're a Scorpio masculine. You're a Scorpio masculine. You're a Scorpio masculine and embarrasses the hell out of you that you are married to a minor. Um, I don't, you're in your 30s. You're, oh my God, you're in your 30s. I heard you're in your 30s and you're married to a kid? What the hell is, what? It's your life, you live it, but why the hell would you marry a kid? Be my needs to hear that. You're in your 30s, so 30 to 39 years old. And it embarrasses the hell out of you, you're married to a minor. I, I, well, I would hope so, sir, if you can be called a sir. I, I don't feel right calling you sir because you married a kid. You wasn't in your right mental facets. Hopefully you claim mental in, uh, insanity for that shit. And that's just the truth. But I'm going to look up the window for annulment. Uh, but I heard through many shocking series of that you're about to get the annulment. I think you're about to go to the lawyer or to the courthouse or wherever you need to go to file this annulment. I've never had an annulment. But um, I do know they exist. Um, but I heard you're about to do it because it embarrasses you so bad. You're in your thirties. Yeah, my God. Let me look this up real quick. I'd be getting that annulment too. Of course, I wouldn't have got married in first place to a kid, but um, I'm not you. Well, okay.
Okay, I didn't know this. In some states, a marriage annulment time frame doesn't exist. You can file up for annulment anytime in, in these states. Hold on. So in some states, a marriage annulment time frame doesn't exist. It does not exist. Um, you can file for annulment in which states? Hold on, let me see. So if you didn't know that, um, you can, um, it's re I'm saying on here that um, in no-fault states, divorces are easier than uh, annulments. But, of course, you only know which state and area and situation you're in. Um, they're Scorpio masculine in your 30s, married to a kid. Okay? This is, yikes. Is there a statute of limitations for getting an annulled marriage? In some states, a marriage annulment time frame doesn't exist. You can file for annulment any time in these states, although the sooner you file, the better. Other states, however, have specific time limits. For example, Colorado requires you to file for annulment within six months after you discover duress, fraud, a dare, mental illness, substance abuse, or alcohol abuse. Additionally, spouses in Colorado must seek annulment within one year of discovering the other spouse is sexually unable to consummate the marriage. Oh, shit, that would be a problem. Okay, yeah. I didn't hear, I didn't see the specific states, but uh, you, I'm assuming you're going to get a consultation or something with a lawyer. I'm not a lawyer um, by any stretch, but one of you guys, I heard through many serious chain events, you're about to get an annulment, and you're basically married to a minor. So, good for you. Um, I'm assuming you're about to go consult with a legal team or legal services or a lawyer or something um i heard it's very embarrassing um and honestly she she she, she needs to be able she doesn't she hasn't even lived life sir if you, or if you can be called a sir i don't even feel right calling you a sir that's gross as hell and that's just the truth i'm serious but just hear me out she is so young she hasn't lived no fucking life no life let her live some life if you cared about her, you'd let her live some life. But I heard it's embarrassing. So good. You live life and she lived life not married to you. Why would anybody want to marry a kid unless they're trying to hide something? Or marry an ab or they've abused them. I'm not saying you've abused her. But that's awful. That's some red flags. If anybody, I mean, I'm just being for real. You're in your 30s, okay? Which will not be granted annulment. Oh, God. Confirmation with the car horn. Coin, 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 go. Coin, coin, coin. Honk, 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 honk. Hammock, taking a vacation physically or mentally. For one, you're about to take a vacation by yourself. And it is about to be beautiful. Bahamas, Florida, Tennessee. For one, you're about to take a vacation. California. California. For one, you're about to take a vacation. It's about to be beautiful. Bahamas, Florida, Tennessee, California. So I think you might live in the Bahamas, Florida, Tennessee, or California, or you're about to take a vacation to Bahamas, Florida, Tennessee, or California. Or specifically by yourself. And let me tell you, I love going on vacations by myself. Unless I'm with my kids. I love going on vacation with my kids. But if I don't, like right now, I don't have my fucking kids. So I love going on them by myself. If I don't have my kids, like right now. And that's just the truth. Um, it's very relaxing. But my kids are old enough. My kids are teenagers, man. So to me, it's not a chore taking my kids. Because, hell, they can chillax with me. Because I've done all the hard part of raising them. Now they can, you know. And that's just the truth. Someone's about to report incest soon. For one, it's a Scorpio. For one, you're going to be shocked. Someone's about to report incest soon. For one, it's a Scorpio about to report it. And for one, you're about to be shocked the incest is reported. And yes, it should be. It should be. Incest is disgusting. Um, in the family, literally. Um, pedophilia. Pedophilia. Yeah. Because if it's adults in the family, they can incest to the cows come home. But if it's a child... 
pedophile, 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 not pedophile. That's a different story. For one, you're about to report it. For one, you're about to be shot. Pam it, taking a vacation either physically or mentally. A significant patient you work in a clinic is about to become very significant in your life. For one, it's a judge. For one, it's a doctor. For one, it's someone you've never met before and they're about to deliver you shocking news. A significant patient, you work in a clinic. So, um, medical profession, you work in a clinic and um, is there at least three patients about to come in in your clinic? I didn't hear what type of clinic, um, but for one, it's a judge. For one, it's a doctor. For one, it's a, someone you never met and they're going to deliver you shocking news. Um, you work in a clinic, so medical profession in a clinic, and whether it's a judge, a doctor, now I feel for some you might know the judge or may not, a doctor, you may know them, you may not, this person you definitely don't know, you've never met them before, but they're going to deliver you shocking news, you work in a clinic, some kind of medical profession, okay? For some, the judge or the doctor might be in your family, possibly. You plug in how it resonates. A shocking phone call from a Pisces feminine is about to make you Wish you were on vacation. Chaos is about to break out. Chaos. A shocking good God. Not, what are you guys is pulling in a Pisces, like a chaotic Pisces fam? I think she might be a part of your family. You plug in how it resonates. For some, she might not be, but somebody's pulling in a very chaotic ass Pisces fam. Heard a shocking phone call from a Pisces fam is about to make you wish you were on vacation. So, mental break energy here. Um, I heard chaos. So, she might be in a mental break or it might lead you to take a mental break or something of that nature. Um, mental health issues. I mean, or needing to take a mental break from her. I mean, you plug it in how it resonates. I wouldn't want to be around that chick, dude. Family energy. I feel for some, she might be a uh, part of your family. It's about to go very badly for her. For one, it's going to go good for you. For one, it's going to go bad for you. It's all in how you're connected to her. For one, she is a co uh, she is a co-worker. You are above her. Okay, so for some of you guys, it's going to go good for you. For some, it's going to go bad for you. Her being in chaos, basically. Um, depending on which side you're on here with her. Um, one, I heard you work with her, but you're above her. So she is your subordinate. Um, so how does that resonate and applies? Um, some kind of chaotic Pisces fan, but it sounds like she's about to call you with some kind of chaos. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Yikes, man. Doll, close up, pleasure with close friend. For one, you're about to go out on a date. Earth sign husband, much needed. For one, you're about to go on a date with the earth sign husband, much needed. So one, you have earth sign husband, Taurus Capricorn Virgo husband. It's much needed to go out on a date with him. So pleasure with close friend is a date with your husband, legally married husband. For one, you're about to go out on a date with someone new. Be careful. This person has a buzz cut for one, for one, a comb over. First date energy. 
Uh, so some of you guys about to go on, go out on first date, whether they have a comb over or a buzz cut. I feel you might be fems or masculines um, going out with these people, but I feel they might be masculines or heavy or like butch fems. And nothing against LBGTQLA, but I'm serious. Whether they have a comb over or a buzz cut, like a butch femme or a masculine. Um, I would be careful. Um, one is a huge ass gamer. One is a huge ass gamer. So for one of you guys, they're a huge ass gamer. Whether they have a buzz cut or a comb over. First date energy. Pleasure with a close friend. First date energy. One, they're a scammer. Uh, whether they have a buzz cut or a comb over, somebody needs to be careful. And one, you're about to go, out, go on a much needed date with your earth sign husband. Family. Someone has really been hiding some things from a Leo feminine. Huge things from a Leo fem. They don't want her to know how wonderful she is and how loved and admired she is. But the mini series of chain of events, she's about to find out. For one, you're going to help tell her. For one, you don't want it to get out to her. Work family strong. Work family strong. Okay. So someone doesn't want a Leo fan to know how loved and appreciated and special and great she is, basically. Um, a community is trying to hide it. A community is trying to hide it. Community is trying to hide it, but it sounds like, for one, you want it hid. For one, you uh, are going to help tell her, but um, you might be a part of this work fan of hers. But um, how that resonates, um, one, you want it hid from her. You might be a part of her family. You might not be, but how that resonates, her a whole entire community community is trying to hide it from her. How wonderful and appreciated and um, loved she is, but she's about to find out in some kind of form of a work family. One of you guys, I heard, is going to tell her, help tell her. One, you want it hidden from her. So one, I feel you're part of her community and you want it hidden from her. So you plug it in how it resonates, or you're part of a toxic family and you want it hidden from her. But it sounds like some kind of work family energy. For one, you're going to be a part of a work family or you are a part of her work family and you're about to tell her. But her community doesn't want her to know. Like, community-wide doesn't want her to know. For one, you're about to get a shocking phone call from a grandfather. For one, a shocking phone call from an aunt. For one, a shocking phone call from a co-worker. And for one, a shocking phone call from a husband. Oh my God. So, shocking phone call from a grandfather, an aunt, a husband, or a co-worker. Um, whether it's work family or ancestral bloodline family. However that resonates and applies, it's important. All right, I'm closing it. I love you guys so much and namaste.